I'm at a compound within a compound within a secure military facility, and I'm at one of six of the Nigerian government's de-radicalization centers. These are places where women and children who were captives of Boko Haram are being held. Boko Haram is one of the deadliest terrorist groups in the world. They're locked in a vicious fight with the Nigerian government, and they often use kidnapped women and children as bargaining chips. This facility helps the survivors readjust to normal life. Mr. Sadiq Usa, a veteran of the Nigerian Air Force, is the director. The people we have here were rescued from Sampisa by the Nigerian military. Here, basically, is about women and children who were considered victims of the insurgency in the Northeast. Many of their families have been killed, sure, right? Sure. So some of these children, they're Boko Haram orphans, and their parents are missing. Yes, and there are some that witnessed the killing of their parents. But this is also called a de-radicalization center. So is the fear that some of them may have been contaminated sure, sure. by Boko Haram or sure. because they were married to them or because yes. they spent so much time with them? You are absolutely right on that. And uh, being in the bush, they were not opportune to have either the Western education or the Islamic education itself. And uh, so they can easily be uh, manipulated. And uh, those groups having weapons and uh, Threatening them might have really indoctrinated them, and we now have to de-radicalize them and uh, make them understand that whatever those bad guys were doing is not the right thing for the society and is not the right thing for them. We want that level of anger and trauma to come down. Because you're teaching them job skills we are, as well. We are teaching them. Uh, we picked four. They wanted to do tailoring. Some of them wanted to learn uh, how to make cakes, catering department. Yep. Some of them, the hair, oh, yeah. saloon, and uh, the fourth one is all these agro products. Uh, we have the religious counselors. We have uh, about five pastors, five imams. And uh, we also have the psychos, the moral counselors, the medical doctors also. The center holds multiple sessions every day. They were gracious enough to allow me to attend one. Do any one of you experience loss of a husband, loss of a brother, loss of a sister or a child anywhere along the line? Rawanya, rawanya kama rawanya, dulinza, karamia iduli awananya, se aka iduli ammienti langwa. Mkama kani nanga wana smartish. Kowa <laughs> Tuliyao, ambro gulnyao, andia banaza, aduma au makamari ya manajindi. It's hard to comprehend the scale of destruction that the Boko Haram insurgency has caused in northern Nigeria, but when you sit in a room like that and you listen to the individual stories of these women, these girls who have lived under the threat of being raped, sexual violence, of being killed, Every single one of them has seen somebody killed in front of them. You, you realize just how collectively impacted the entire region of northern Nigeria has been by this war against Boko Haram. Yet, despite all that, they're here, they're alive, they have babies to raise, and they got to figure out some way to pick up all the pieces and move on with their lives. <laughs> 